Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today we are going to take a look at, I am not too sure how to pronounce this, the Quibok, Quibok, whatever crimping tool, it's spelled Q-I-B-A-O-K. -OK. This can be found on Amazon, uh, I'm sure it can be found on eBay and other places as well. But uh, it's a crimping tool kit. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up, see what's all inside, inside, um, and then try it out. All right, let's open it up. Actually, on the side of the box, it does show what's all in here. It comes with this crimping tool. You can see pictured on the front and the back. But on the side, it comes with this set of DuPont connectors and then it comes with these JST HX connectors. And these are two very popular types of connectors. And the main reason I ordered this is I've got multiple 3D printers, I've got mini, mini CNC milling machine, and I do a lot of Arduino videos, and it was about time I was able to make my own cables. I had been doing it, I have some a small selection of the DuPont connectors and I was using a pair of pliers to crimp them and it was just a pain. All right, first we have the tool. Okay, we'll pull everything out of the box and then we'll take a look at each item individually. Here are the DuPont connectors. And there's the JST connectors. And what do you know, no instructions, huh? instructions on the box but if you have any questions they have the email oh it's a hot mail <laughs> oh that uh, <laughs> if they were a real real company you would think they would have their own email not use hot mail but oh well this is made in China that's a fact but, all right um Let's open up the crimping tool first and take a look at it. The back just shows pictures of their other crimping tools and crimping tool sets. So obviously they make a wide selection of the stuff, so hopefully... The reviews on Amazon weren't too bad. There were a few people that had a bad experience with this, but... You know, when you read reviews on Amazon, generally when a person does leave a review, it's because they had a problem. Not as many people that are happy with it leave positive reviews. Um, if I am happy with this, I will leave a positive review. But wow, there's some weight to this, and it's a ratcheting. Everything appears to be good. There's a very light coating of some kind of lubricant oil to keep it from rusting. Yes, it does ratchet. All right, it says it's for AWG 26 to 20. I'm guessing that's the wire. Primarily here I've got, uh, well, I also ordered separately. We might take a look at these at the end of the video. These are uh, connectors that will use the same crimper for servos. And I got some wire here, and we're going to use this as an example to try these out. But we'll try these ones out because that's what this video is a review of. So, all right, um, let's open up this one. This is the DuPont connectors. case isn't too bad. It has a description on the front here what's all in there. I guess it doesn't show on here like a lot of stuff does but I think you can figure out what stuff is what. Well, I'm guessing this is probably 26. It looks like it's the same as the servo wire but it comes with a little bit of ribbon cable. I actually ordered some other ribbon cable and it didn't say much about it. 
I got it super duper cheap. It just said ribbon cable, didn't say the size or anything. I got it for just a couple dollars, but why, as you can see, is it is a smaller gauge. It, uh, it might work with these, but I don't think it'll crimp because the wire is so small, but no big deal. I'll find a use for it. It was only a couple of dollars. But all right, we have our DuPont connectors. We have our male pins and female pins. All right, um, we have header pins, straight and angled, or some people like to call these alligator teeth. All right, um, we're gonna be trying the crimper with these, but uh, before we try it, I'm just gonna open this quick so we can see everything that's in here as well. And I did like the fact finding this kit with all this comes together because my 3D printers and my mini milling machine use these plugs and they use these. And then of course for a lot of my Arduino projects I do videos on, you know, some of them use servos. And now I can make my own custom cables or shorten cable if need be. All right, this is a 760 piece JST XH connector kit and it's got the male and the female. And you've got two pin, three pin, four pin, five pin, and six pin, male and female. And then, wow, 500 of the female connectors. Hmm. Well, that's a lot. So, am I going to be able to get it to go back into the box now? <laughs> Uh oh well I'll worry about that after the video is done but uh, yeah I'm sure if you're watching this you've all seen these particular connectors before all right enough with that let's get uh, set this to the side out of the way and let's try this out um, Let's see, I, let's try this wire. It's the same, the same uh, 28 AWG. And I don't need any ribbon cable at the moment to be made. And there's not much of this particular, but I have 50 feet of this, so we can waste a few inches of this. Let me grab here. Your cutter and stripper. Actually, I just did a video on this. Uh, look in the description below. I'll leave a link to the, the review of this nice little wire stripper. And I actually stripped this because just before I shot this video, I did the review on the wire stripper. I ordered it all from Amazon and it all came the same day all right um, we need let's I guess it doesn't matter they both crimp the same way whether you're using the male or the female so where is the end Ah, that's why I can't get to it. It's taped. There we go. All right, we need to... Now, there's no instructions on how to use this. <laughs> but I have seen them used before. So I think I can figure it out here. All right. Let's take our wire. Let's 
insert down in there. <clears throat> now on how to exactly use this, there's other videos that'll better describe it. I'm just showing it being used. We're just testing it out here. And I do believe we want the front one. Pulled out on me. But I got it in there. I do believe I got it in right, and then it ratcheted, so it's on the first ratchet click. All right. That did the back one. And it appears that it did the front one. I'll be. That's actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Before I had this, <laughs> that's how I had to do it. I had some of these and a few of the little DuPont connectors, and I just have to do it manually. All right, let's grab one of these. And I do believe they go in like that. I'm inserting it the correct way. There we go. It's a nice tight fit, but that's good. It's in there, it clicked, it locked into place. So look at that. Now I just need to do the other two. But hey, we showed it working. Look at that. I'd never used one of these before, and without a problem, I got the first one to work. <laughs> now, I was using the bigger size wire, and what this back one here for, if I understand it correctly, is for the smaller, you're using the smaller size, like a, the 20. So, well, that's the unboxing review and test of i'm not even going to try to say the name of what their name is hand crimping tool set so um scale one to ten not bad at all um it wasn't that expensive it was in the 20 some dollar range and it came with all of this i mean that's a lot of stuff I ordered this separate. This was like $6. and It did come with a little bit of ribbon cable. I do believe it's like five feet here. Um, definitely what I got here is going to last me for quite a while. And then as you start running out of, you know, what you use more often, you can order just, you know, what you need to replace it. And you've got storage boxes for it I still got to figure out how to get that to all go back in the tool for crimping seems to be very well made very well so I'm gonna give this well, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nine 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 and a half I never get give tens unless it's something spectacular but this almost is up there um, that's two reviews I did in a row. I, the review I just did on this, I gave it as good of a rating, too. The stuff I've been getting off Amazon lately, um, it's good. It's it's good stuff. So we can go ahead and um, end the video here for that. But since you're here, I'm not going to be doing a separate video on this. If you'd like to see, I'm going to go ahead and quickly open this up. And we'll take a look at the... Uh, these are for making servo and extension cables. And you could kind of make them with that, but um, this comes with the housing so that you can connect them and it makes it a little more stable, a little better. And this was, oh heck, I think it was like nine, ten dollars. And you get a boatload of stuff here. 
just a ton. And these are supposed to be Fatabo compatible. Um, I have some Futabos and I also got some of those 9 gram ones, servos that you get off of Amazon as well. And <coughs> they are interchangeable, so. <coughs> it comes with the male, female pins. I guess it doesn't really say on here how many pieces it. Uh, 900 pieces all together. But, uh, all right. So we added that on here too. So if you're still watching, I would like to thank you for joining us here today at the Z Hut. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, remember, give us a thumbs up if I can get this box to close. Here we go. I guess the storage box on this isn't as good as those ones, but whatever. Price was right. All right. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Have a great day, and hope to see you here again at the Z Hut.